Clifton Fox. It's here, and I'm here to tell you about it. I have a hoka problem. A serious hoka problem. <laughs> I know about all the different models and what used to be the ones, the Nepalis, the threes, and the fives. So stay tuned so I can tell you what the difference is with the Hoka Clifton 5. Alright, so I got the Hoka Clifton 5 about two and a half weeks ago. And I've put probably 25 to 30 miles on them, so not a lot. I usually put more on, but I wanted to get this out to you because I noticed a lot of people on social media were asking, how is the Hoka Clifton 5 cushioning? compared to the other previous models. So, I wanna tell you what is up with the new Hoka Clifton 5. I have it in my hand, so that tells you maybe a clue. All right, so these babies were the Hoka Clifton ones, and I found them on eBay a couple years ago, and somebody had lightly used them, and I bought them. I love the Hoka Clifton ones. They were the marshmallow soft cushioning that everybody loved and started to fall in love with the Hoka brand. So I hold on to these these little puppies are like prized on the eBay or internet if you can find them. So I hold on to these and I have these and I use these actually to kind of compare them to other models. So is it the same or am I just remembering what it once used to be? I got the Hoka Clifton 5. I also ordered another of the Hoka Nepalis, which is a running warehouse exclusive. So you, these are what Hoka said, we will give back the marshmallow soft cushioning because people didn't like the Hoka Clifton 4s. So I have been running in these for six and a half months. So I brought another Hoka Nepali. After I bought the Hoka Nepali, I said, you know what? 4 was a failure, but they're advertising Hoka Clifton 5s as the marshmallow soft cushion. So you know what? I'm going to give them a try. I've given every version a try. And the Hoka Clifton 4s, as I've said before in my other videos, I believe that they were a failure because they were very hard, um, brick-like, just very dense like other running shoes out there. So it didn't feel like my favorite Hoka's that just cradled my foot and felt so soft on my underfoot. The Hoka Clifton 5 cushioning is very similar to the Hoka Nepali, which is, in my opinion, very close to the Clifton 3's or Clifton 1's, so marshmallowy soft. And I actually did kind of a test with my husband. I showed both of these shoes, the Nepali and the Clifton 5s. And I said, which one do you think is softer? And he doesn't know anything about like the versions. And he pushed on these and he said, you know, just pushing on the midsole and you know, pushing around. And he said, these, these are softer than those other ones, the Nepalis. The upper is very soft. It's it's actually very breathable. I got a darker fabric, which isn't the best idea for summertime, but it's very breathable and I like that about it. Um, it does have the pull tab in the back. They put those back, so I like that being a triathlete. I like to have that tab back there. It does just make transition that much quicker. Um, here is the underside of it. And like I said, it if you can see, that is marshmallow soft and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm actually running. And I do say that the Hoka Clifton 3 had a very wide forefoot and people liked that. And I would say with the Hoka Clifton 5, it's very comparable to the Hoka Clifton 3. So all in all, I feel like they brought back my favorite Hoka Clifton 3. I have the same like stretchy laces that they've been using for many, many years. I actually have an added insert, so that is not the insert that comes with it. Um, I just have a really high arch and I do like adding my own insole just to protect my foot from like plantar fasciitis. It brings me to my next point. I do notice in the Hoka Clifton 5 that the arch is more pronounced in the Hoka Clifton 5 than a Nepali or previous Clifton versions. In my personal preference, I enjoy that. I have a little bit higher of an instep or arch and that feels very protective. Uh, it cradles it. it. It feels just like it's holding my foot very, very well. Where other models, I really have to get a high insert or orthotic to feel like my arch is not gonna fall in, if that makes sense. You can see that the tongue on the Clifton 5 is padded. It's very comfortable. The Hoka Clifton 5 I bought from Running Warehouse and they retailed at $129.95. I actually ended up using a 10% off code, which is BELIEVE10, which I'll leave in the description down below. Um, if you use that, you'll get 10% off. So it did help. And then they also always have free shipping and free returns. So that honestly helped me make my purchase knowing that I could buy this shoe if I didn't like the shoe, I could just send it back and no questions asked, they just refund my credit card the next day. So Running Warehouse is my favorite. 
So I want to give you guys a, another update after I get a couple hundred miles on them and let you know how they work for me. But 25 miles in, I am really enjoying them. Out of the box, soft cushioning, very enjoyable, nice breathable upper, similar stretchy laces, nice padded tongue. I love the instep. And then this nice pull tab for triathletes, I just like. It's a nice thing to have. So my personal preference now is probably the Hoka Clifton 5 with the Nepali still following behind. I still do love the Nepali cushioning. But like I said, this is just a preference for me. I think Hoka did an awesome job. So the Hoka Clifton 5 is amazing. And I think you guys should give them a try. Like I said, Running Warehouse has 10% off with that code. And there's no risk. If for some reason they don't work for you, then you can send them right back. And I'm not paid. Nobody's telling me to go to Running Warehouse. That is just my personal preference. I've used them for many 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 years and i really love how they are just so seamless and you can return if there's any problems that you have. should give them a try the hoka clifton 5 they are back finally hoka listened and i am in love with the hoka clifton 5. you guys should give the hoka clifton a try i promise you won't be disappointed with somebody that loves hoka clifton they're finally back